It's a meeting between the two nuclear physicists, leading nuclear physicists of their day, two of them. That is, they were worked very closely before the war, and now, of course, they're on the opposite sides of the war, but there's a possibility of a bomb being developed out of nuclear physics, theoretical nuclear physics. And the play is a discussion of what happened during that conversation and the ramifications of it. That's right. So I think one of the things I would say is don't be, um, to the audience, is don't be put off by... I mean, if you read the description, you go, oh my God, it's about nuclear fission. You don't need to be uh, a nuclear physicist. And Michael Frayn is far too... I mean, he's very, very clever, but he's also very, very funny. Yeah. So there's, um, yes. there's a lot of wit. I'm very weird. <laughs> it, it's a very unusual situation. I've, I've never come back... I've done things where I've done a play you know, something I've done in London and then I've done in Broadway, but it's something that I've done loads of performances of, so there's, you know, some big muscle memory. But this, to have six months off and mm. then come back. But it's, you know, we're finding it really helpful, aren't we, that we're getting a chance to dig into it uh, in, in, a, in a way that we didn't have time for, because we do have that familiarity with the material. Um, it's got marinated, hasn't it? Has, it's yes. it's, uh, it's Agreed, marinated yeah. and now it's, it's a bit tastier. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Fascinating. Mm. You know, it's a really fascinating period. Mm. That's right. What's amazing about these people is that they have, they are brilliant, and often, obviously, they're some of the rare geniuses that have come in the nine twentieth century, and mm. they've put their stamp on the greatest scientific discoveries. You know, yet at the same time, those sci those great scientific discoveries have led to the greatest. Uh, kind of darkness yeah. uh, later at the end of the second world ways. It's hopeful because these three actually decent people are trying to find about out about truth. And that I think is why when you come and see the play, in spite of its darkness, yeah. you feel hopeful.